In this video, I want to prove that base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. So how can we do this? Well, we gotta know what we're talking about to begin with. So let me define a few things. Isosceles triangle is a triangle, triangle with two equal sides, with two equal sides. And you may say, what do I mean by that? And I mean that two of the sides of the triangle have the same length. So in this case, this side and this side have the same length and we represent it by drawing one tick mark through each of them. So each everything with one tick mark has the same length and this side, which may or may not have the same length as the other two, is going to connect the other two vertices and this is going to be an isosceles triangle. It has two equal sides. And we wish to look at the base angle and the base angle are the ones located where the equal sides are intersecting the, the third side. So in this case, this one and this one would be base angles. So these two would be our base angles. So the angle generated by two equal sides, so this one is called vertex angle and we're not worried too much about that. We want to look at the base angle and we want to show that these two have the same, same size, the same angle measure. So how can we do that? And I'm going to do it using triangle congruence. And if you guys have forgotten some of the triangle congruence, such as SSS, SAS, ASA, and HL, you can click this I that's popping up right around here to go to my video where I introduce and summarize all the triangle congruences you have to know with some intuition. But in this video, I'm going to assume that we know the basics of that and I'm going to dive right into the proof. So you have these two sides that are equal and for the sake of, for the sake of being more formal, I'm going to label the vertices A, B, and C. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line that's going through A that is perpendicular to BC. And you may say, why am I doing this? And let's call this X. So AX is perpendicular to BC. So AX is perpendicular, that's how you write it. BC, perpendicular means they intersect at 90 degree angle. And 90 degree angle is the one that it looks like this, that's 90 degrees. One's horizontal, one's vertical from, from this point of view. So we have AX being perpendicular to BC and the reason you draw perpendicular lines is because perpendicular, perpendicular, and I'm going to add parallel to, and parallel lines usually lead us to usually lead us to congruent triangles and whenever you have congruent triangles it's going to facilitate our development to, of the proof if you have congruent triangles usually it's going to help you out advance in your proof and usually finish it up so in our case we do have two congruent triangles that's popping up and that's triangle axb let me highlight it this red triangle, triangle AXB is congruent to this triangle, triangle AXC. And you may say, how do I know they are congruent? And congruent means same shape and size, so same shape and size. It can be rotated or reflected. It just has to have the same shape and size. So I'm saying this, this red triangle is congruent to this blue triangle, or I'm saying triangle ABX is congruent to triangle ACX. Whenever you write the congruence, you want to make sure you go the same direction. I'm going from A to B, and I want to go the corresponding way from A to C and back to X. So we have triangle ABX is congruent to triangle ACX, and in this case, it is because of hypotenuse leg. And you may say, why is hypotenuse leg? Well, we have two hypotenuses that are the same, the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle, so these two sides. So we have hypotenuse that's the same, and we have one leg. The, the, both of the triangles share side AX. They share a leg, so they have the same length. So we have hypotenuse that's the same length, and leg that's the same length. And by hypotenuse leg congruence postulate, we know that these two triangles are equal. So let me write that down. We know AB is equal to AC because 
they are isosceles, that's by definition of isosceles triangle, and we have AX being equal to AX, they are sharing this side, so we know these two triangles are congruent, and we know corresponding parts of the congruent triangles has to be congruent, so you know this angle, you know this green angle, angle ABX, one of the base angles has to be congruent to angle ACX because they are corresponding angles of two congruent triangles. So we know angle ABX is congruent to angle ACX or their measures. Their measures has to be the same and we are done. So let me review really fast. We wanted to show the base angles, this angle and this angle, of isosceles triangle, triangle with two equal sides or congruent. I did it by forcibly producing congruent triangles by dropping down a perpendicular line, which usually allows us to have some congruent or similar triangles. And I identified the congruent triangles using HL, and I used the fact that corresponding angles of corresponding uh, corresponding angles of congruent triangles have to have the same measure to say that the base angles of isosceles triangle are congruent and we are done.